Welcome back to Anderton's TV, where in today's video, we try to answer the eternal question of which is better, multi-effects or pedals? Oh God, yeah, that's, a, that's a question. So before we get into this uh, lively debate, mm. uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, this is uh, the home of hundreds and hundreds of reviews, a new video every day. Yep. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to never miss out. And we'll um, well. Okay, so we have taken a Boss ME90. Very popular. It's very, very popular. Yep. Uh, has lots of effects in it. And this will be our sort of... Um, test multi effects that's the that's what we've got to compete with yeah. so we're going to have the same sort of budget as one of these would cost us and for that budget we've got to buy pedals and cables and a power supply and a board and all that kind of stuff and then yeah. at the end of the video we'll jam out with one of us playing this one mm -hmm. of us playing the board the pedal board yeah. and you can decide which one you think is better yeah better but what do you think is best though I mean, pedals. Yeah, pedals. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like pedals. Why well, like pedals? No. Okay. So look, ME90 is um, a little bit different compared to your normal multi effects programmable mode. Yeah. Uh, it is all digital. So from that point of view, it's, um, you know, it's much like, uh, you know, it's contemporary multi effects players. Yeah. But uh, the way in which you dial in tones is very much about knobs rather than menus and touch like. screens and all that kind of stuff. Yes, I so like it's that. kind of familiar. It's £299 excluding a power supply. Okay. So probably sort of 320 with a power supply. So that's where we're going to well, start. Well, you could do batteries, four batteries, but that's where we're going to start. So okay. we've got £320 to play with. And we're going to be using the Anderton's website on this vintage 1970s <laughs> iPad here that we really ought to replace <laughs> at some point. <laughs> So the first thing, and we kind of decided this already, I will just grab this, is we'd uh -huh. like this to be neat and tidy, right? So we do a brand called Ordo, which does sort of affordable guitar accessories and bits. And for 50 quid-ish, 59 pounds, uh -huh. we can have this board, comes with some Velcro and this bag, and that's, that's what deal. we're going to kind of use as our what we're going to stick stuff on. We also need a power supply and we're not going to go and spend a big chunk of our budget buying those sort of pro, sort of semi-pro isolated power supplies. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ye olde fashioned single power supply mm -hmm. and a daisy chain thing. And the good news is we're also going to take advantage of the fact that Anderton's has a deal where if you buy two Tone City pedals, yeah. you get the, the, the daisy chain and the power and supply for right. free. Absolutely, so, so why wouldn't you? Yes, so our basic, we are in for 59 pounds so far for this and the power supply and this. Yeah. Um, and now the fun starts. So what have we got left? If this was 320 with a power supply, we have got 260 oh, nice <laughs> um, to buy pedals with, 260. I mean, average price of 50 quid gives us five pedals, doesn't it? Yeah, so you want to, you want to, do you want a compressor? You, want, you definitely want an overdrive. You at definitely want a reverb, a uh, delay. At least one. At least one overdrive. Oh man, I mean, I would say I would have three overdrive pedals. Should, should we go, so should we start with the, the pedals that we know we only need one of, but we absolutely have to have? So like mm -hmm. reverb or delay. delay or yeah. So are we, are we going to allow ourselves no reverb because most amps have reverb or do we have to have See, that, reverb? See, that's always a good question, isn't it? Because we like reverb on reverb, but if the amp has got reverb... And most amps do. And most amps do have reverb, then you wouldn't have a reverb pedal. You, you leave that to the last minute and see if you have any money left. Right. So delay pedal first. Yeah, delay pedal. Okay, so I'm on our website. We uh -huh. should have a section here for delay pedals. Here it is, delay pedals. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we should also be able to sort from low to high. And we are definitely in a Lots low to high mode yeah, today. today. So let's Nothing do wrong that. with that, by the way. You get some good things doing okay. that. Okay. Oh, wow. So you got Behringer. What is that? Like Behringer two at 25 <laughs> quid. Now, we do, we do at some point need to end up with either two Landlord or two yeah. um, uh, uh, Tone City pedals. Overdrives. Yeah. Uh, I, I know the overdrives are good on the... I mean, anyway. how, actually, how many pedals are we going to even fit on here? We're going to get... Enough. 
We're yeah. going to get our oh, loads on here, yeah, aren't yeah. we? So we're going to get at least six or seven pedals yes. if we need to, unless we start buying bigger yeah. ones. But what do you what do you fancy out of there? I mean, that do, do we want to try and keep the, the price down as low as possible? Good. Yeah, I mean the the Behringer man, they, they, they're so hard to beat, aren't they? Those pedals. But I do think you want you need analog to... or digital? Oh, because you've got. Um, I like that TC Electronic Bucket Brigade, but that's again... 60 quid. Almost 60 quid. So that's well, quite it's, expensive. it's doable. So, so I've just got a pen and paper here. Uh, auto board. Let me just write that down. Yeah, auto board, 59 pounds. Auto. Auto. Um, 59. And we'll put links to all these products there. Yeah. So what do you want? Do you want to just do this? This? Uh, oh, you wanted this Bucket Brigade pedal, didn't you? No, no, you? no. What else is there? Well, I mean, whatever you... Uh, whatever you want, really, I guess. Whatever so, you want. okay. So, if we were going to go analog delay pedals, we can do the tape machine, which is good. Uh, which is good. We've got the Behringer. We've got the uh, Echo Brain by TC. I mean, I do like that Bucket Brigade. It is a good sounding. If we go much dearer than that, we're into. As a few of these are out of stock, uh, we can't go up into the sort of 70, 80 pound mark. We're just going to no, run yeah, out. Yeah, we of have dough. to be at least around a fifty. Let's mark. let's put the Bucket Brigade in okay. as our okay. um, option TC. one, and I. W but you could just put in brackets. There is also the Behringer VD four hundred at um, twenty five pounds. If that's what we want, VD one hundred. VD. 400. 400, sorry. And that's 25. So that's 59 and 25. So, okay. Yeah. So that we, we said we'd kind of go back. Do you... I, half of me feels we should have a modulation yeah, pedal so and then the other half of or, me feels or, like... Or, or, I always go chorus or uh, tremolo. So... Chorus, right? Well, see, I'm more or a tremolo vibe, kind of guy. Univibe? Univibe. That depends on what you want, isn't it? But... And then at the end, if you've got more money left, you can always go back in, can't you? Herein is our first, you know, the big yeah. upside of having the an ME90 or any multi-effects yeah. pedal for that brass manner. You know, you we, we you obviously heard us talk a little bit about what kind of delay pedal that you did we want. And, and this obviously has, you know, half a dozen different kinds of delay in here. When you're into modulations, this has got like 10 different kinds of modulations. And we're trying to sort of pick one. Is there anything that's got the multi stuff in it? Somebody, you know, like the mm, no, the. I, my my so, gut feeling is chorus is chorus. Is, but then I, it's an angel wing. It's a shout, isn't an it? An angle wing. Uh, so let's I mean, just really do the like let's do the low to high thing again and see what we can do. So angel wing is fifty pounds oh, at the it? moment. Again, Behringer, unfortunately out of stock, twenty five pounds. That's crazy, right? There are some TC options here at forty pounds, but we know the angel wing. It's a great sounding chorus. Uh, but it would be nice to try something else. Well, what do you fancy here? Again, you've got this afterglow. What's uh, the newer The there? Brewer's Droop. I mean, I know Brewer's Droop is a thing that, you know, you get all the time. Um, oh, it's not in stock, so we can't have that one. Let's Brewer's do... Droop. Yeah, let's do... Snoopy Boop. It's another 50 quid, though. It's 50 quid yeah, of our money. Something got... less? Well, we've got this something afterglow. Less. You've got this third dimension. Afterglow is good. Is it? You've tried that, How much you? is that? 41. 41. Yeah, I like the Afterglow. Let's see if we've got any in the store. <gasps> we got one here. Yes, we have Afterglow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Afterglow then, 41. And put in brackets then Angel Wing, TC 49. After. We haven't bought any pedals that give us our free power supply yet. Must do so, that. So, or Angle Wing. Or ang Angle Grinder. At 49 pounds. After birth or Angle Grinder. So what was on 41? 41 for the Afterglow, 50, 50 for the for the Angel, Angel Wing. Wing. Okay, okay, so we've that's it. Now we can just buy seven overdrive pedals. Yeah, right? <laughs> absolutely. Do we need a tuner just to we jump? Do we need a tuner? <laughs> What's that new Nux tuner? I saw a new X tuner. That, is that? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I've there is that. one. Uh, we've got one here. It's a pink one. It looks cool. Okay, guitar tuners. Yeah. And metronomes, obviously, is it? But we just want tuners. Mm -hmm. There is a landlord one at twenty nine pounds. I'm what? suggesting that actually spending any more than twenty nine pounds on our tuning. Oh, we could do a clip-on tuner. Does it have to be a pedal tuner, though? Well, yeah. That has to be a pedal tuner, doesn't what's it? That, what's that new X one? Uh, sorry, let me just keep going. Uh, low to high. Uh, right. £50 pounds does look oh. good. £29. Pounds. What, does there, there's yeah, absolutely no good. reason to buy an expensive tuner well, as long as it there. tunes. <laughs> oh, is there? Is that a video well, we need to do at some yeah, point? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it I, might be. Just do Landlord. Okay, it's Landlord. And that gets us one of our pedals that gets LL us the free tuna. power supply. Yes, £29. That's crazy cheap, isn't it? So, um, I, I do like the, that new X, though. It's a great-looking tuner. It is. 
50 pounds. So, okay, so we've got a tuner. Yeah, we got we've a, got a, a chorus. We've got and a, a delay. delay. So we Seven need... Overdrive. Are we just going straight into overdrives and boosts and stuff now? Let me just have a look at some other pedals that we potentially could be on here. Looper, compressors. Oh, a looper. Reverbs. Wah wahs. I mean, it's difficult, isn't you it? You can't get them. You can't in, get that for them. It's, in terms of just if yeah. you, if it's quantity over quality, this type yeah. of product wins or is it every quantity? time. Is well, it, it might. Be? If it's just quantity, then yeah. forget the quality. Angle. If it's if you just want more, if you're Ingve Malmsteen more. and more is always more, more is more. Then you need to go down the effects multi effects route yeah. when you're buying pedals, when you're when you're buying putting your boards together and stuff. Okay, I think we should just go. Would you just do three overdrive pedals? More is more. Or, uh, you'll have like a, you'll have a medium gain. You'll have a low gain, medium gain, and and those two could actually be your solo, couldn't it? So you, you can compressor do two. and two overdrives. Yeah, and you can have a compressor, but you can have you. Can, I mean, this is a really good example of two classic overdrive pedals that works really well together. I don't. I don't disagree. Uh, and we've kind of agreed that we've got no reverb because the reverb's going to be in the yeah, end. Yeah, right. We'll see the end. So I mean, you could have a bluesman, which is like a, a slow gain, low gain overdrive, and then noblesman, which is higher. This is the classic Nashville, you know. Well, let's have a little look. So that's good because there's only 499 different overdrive and distortion pedals on the Anderson's <laughs> website, which is the here in what? is the lunaticness of the world of overdrive and distortion pedals. Ooh. So I've gone low to high, as is the way we're doing this. Yeah. Behringer, of course, has come in low. 25 quid gets us uh, any yeah, the of the. One. Oh. They do do the two yeah. screen one, which isn't bad. Yeah, from memory. That's a good pedal as well. It sounds good. Uh, if we go up to oh, there's some offers here. This nobleman actually is only 35 quid at the moment. In fairness, all the Tone City stuff is all around about the 40 quid mark. Oh my God, there's so many, Pete. I mean, uh, oh no. Do we, do we just do we was just there go? Someone in Nooks that was really good, wasn't it? New X. There was the mm, the, the, just... the 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 tube and a nobleman. Oh no, not the nobleman. What was it called? The horseman. That was Clonny. Yeah. We I need we need like... another Tone City just to just to, I mean. To, there's so many good ones. I mean, you've got Sweet Cream is a good pedal if you want that sort of low gain yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, you've got, Derp, like you say, Derpel is great. Derpel, but <laughs> that's with, a bit more money. I know. No, no, it's not at all. Derpel is Pete's, um, mm -hmm. the pedal that he collaborated with um, yeah. Tone City to do. So I think you we should. You can do a bit both. I mean, that with this is great. It's a great little set. I think we need something <laughs> with a bit of gain in it. Yeah, I but mean, the, the, that's, the, the Derpel has got lots of gain in it. Let's do a Sweet Cream and a. I always got I think it. I think that's great just for the low gain stuff. What instead of the sweet cream? Yeah. Okay. Uh what do you want that and a I'll just, you that want, and that. <laughs> well that that would be uh, lazy, wouldn't it? Uh I mean Crikey O'Reilly, you know, if only there was a YouTube channel out that we could go and watch that showed us what all the different overdrive pedals sounded like. Um you got, that you got I, Ibanez Mini Tube Screamer. The yes. Nux Horseman is 55. So I, yeah, I think once, more expensive, aren't they? once we get past 50, I'm worried we're going to run out of dough here. So I yeah. think we need to go... Do the set of... Do you want to go... Do you, do you just want like the, the 25 quid Behringer and then a and then a Derpel or something? Does a Tube Screamer and a Derpel work well together or not so yeah. much? Yeah, yeah. And the, two, the Derpel and that one works well together too. So we're gonna. We've decided. Okay. There yeah. was a lot of discussion there. We're doing actually. TS we're doing the T O eight hundred by Behringer because that's only twenty five quid. Yeah. And that does leave us. Actually, can we get? Can we add up? 60, 120, 160, 190, 215. Oh no, we've got three twenty to go to, haven't we? So we've still got hundred quid left to What's go. That? Yeah. about 100 okay. quid left so we okay. could, we could maybe oh no we need a compressor as well so let's do a and we need another overdrive do you want to do yeah we do a derpel and a do a derpel and derpel was 45 here it is derpel's 45 so we can now do a compressor yeah and i think that's probably all of our um yeah. pedals um, yeah when you're putting this board together yourself your choice of overdrive pedal is going to be so so personal you you know you you might play really light kind of slightly edge of break up old blues and rock and roller stuff you might go right all the way through to you know the heaviest metal that there is so yeah. of course choosing the right couple of drive pedals is is really really important again if you're going heavy 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 you might decide that you want a noise gate instead of a compressor or something like that yeah um but yes yeah, so we want now a 
uh, affordable compressor. I've never even tried this. Oh, what about we get some yeah, Newex? Yeah, yeah, Newex, I, that was good. I think we tried this and it actually was good, yeah. wasn't it? The sculpture. I mean, that's good as well, but that's m- a lot more money. Quid? What? Yeah. Stick the stick the sculpture in, then the Newex so, sculpture. Oh, in fact, we are going to need a bit of change anyway because we haven't bought any cables yet. Oh! And little patch cables are three quid each. We're going to need about five of them. So I bet you, if we add this up, we are bang on there. Okay, now we just got to go and get the pedals. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, wow. so here's what I've got. Mm-hmm. Here's what Pete's got. Of yeah. course, what's also in my budget was my board with all the Velcro and actually the kind of cool it's a carrier cable. bag, which yeah. you don't get with that. No. Um, but I can fit this in my front of my guitar bag, this is maybe. True. I did come slightly unstuck the free daisy chain thing that I got by buying the two uh, qualifying pedals. Only does five pedals. So I've had to basically buy an extra sort of 10 quid power supply. So yeah. I may have gone marginally over budget here, but... But you saying that, I can only have one, two, three, four, pe- five, pe- in, you know, realistically when I'm using it as the same way as you, I'm still, well, I can't let, do any more pedals than you can. So let's just add it up on screen now. Uh, obviously we did 59 pounds for the bag and the power supply was free. Mm-hmm. Then we've got 29 for the tuner, 39 for the compressor, 25 for the uh, Tube Screamer clone thing, 45 for the Durple, uh, what was my Afterglow, 41 for the Afterglow, and 59 for the Bucket Brigade. Oh, right. The cables are all 2.99 each. Uh, so look, there you go, add that up. But I don't think we're a million miles off of what it would have so. cost to buy one of those. So tuners, let's have a tuner shootout, Mr. Pete. Tuna this is what up. mine does. Oh, oh if I turn I hold, the volume I, up. Okay, I have to hold onto that. I mean, Is it already there? So okay. mind tunes. So it's much the same kind of thing, really. We've got a slightly different visual display, but mine is much simpler. Mine is not. How can it be simpler than that? No, but it looks simpler. Oh, I see. And you've got, you know, like me, <laughs> compared to you. So, You've got colours and this stuff. Is, and I'm just you, you may be familiar if you go slightly up into things like the TC polytunes and stuff that you can just strum like that and you get this display of all yeah. six strings. Uh, both mute the sound when you're not playing. Yeah. I've got a feeling actually the boss may have an option to let you do either mute okay. it or not mute it. Anyway, then I've got a compressor. So here's my. Pretty happy with that. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's, a, that's a, a lot more boost than I would probably have. So, but that's the new X compressor. You, you can do a compressor. I can't. Kind. Okay. There's a load of other stuff that Pete's got on here. Yes, <clears throat> loads and of bits. Although we're using it in manual mode, so obviously it's just turning on and off the one effect that Pete has selected. If we were in memory mode, of course, Pete could have a different one of those selected yeah. for every patch. But I can't remember to. what I had to for breakfast, so that's not that. Be funnily any good. enough, that's one of the things that I think is a is a criticism of the ME90 compared to units that have more of an LCD display is once you're into memory mode, how do you, how remember, do you remember what, what you've you set actually set that? up? Yeah. And how many banks have you got here? Because I can't remember. Ten, you, I think the, so. So let's say you've got 10 banks and six and seven, you created something. How can you remember what that yeah, is? I've no idea. It would idea. be nice to have little lights around here, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a good shout. Okay, yeah. so I've got a, a vintage tube overdrive. I'm sure Pete has one of those as well. Uh, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so I've got, I've got way too much reverb on. Loads if of that's possible. Yeah. So I've actually I've uh, a Centaur overdrive. So I've, you've gone clon. I could of course go with a T screamer like you. Does that sound vastly different? I don't. I prefer yours. Anyway, I do, I, I I do that. think on you know, although the the like the forefathers of the ME of the ME ninety, if you go back to the ME five, yeah. were actual Boss analog circuits mm-hmm. in a multi effects thing. Yeah. Certainly since the ME eighty, so the predecessors of this ME ninety included, it is all digital. So I suppose you know things like my Tube Screamer circuit, even though this is only twenty five quid, is potentially a, a truer. Um, circuit to a tube screamer yeah. than, than, than but that. But this is good. But it sounds good, this thing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I th- I've got the ME5 and I do think this sounds better. Here's something I can do that Pete can't yes. do. 
I have two drive circuits, yeah. and I don't believe you can stack drive on no, here, can you? No, I haven't got the able, I, I can't do two drives, but I can do a boost on, on the EQ session, but it's right. not the same because it doesn't boost, but what I can do is I can use the compressor to make a, my yeah. overdrive a little bit more driven. Or, of course, you'd go back into memory mode and just have yeah, but multiple. That's not the point of this. No, I agree. So, up, I, these are my, so I can get this drive tone. Or this drive tone. Or this drive tone. Yeah. So what I would almost certainly do is leave one of these as my sort of preferred mm -hmm. rhythm tone, which would probably be the Durpal because it's got a bit more bass end, and then just dump this over the top to get mm -hmm. that more lead solo tone. Oh, I tend I... to use compressors more as a clean thing than necessarily a boost. I always yeah, think yeah. compressors into overdrives gets noisy, but anyway. Well, I could do this, so I can have an overdrive. <laughs> Let me do the screamer so you put the compressor into it. Kind of old gain, I kind of have on that. Unless you choose unless, a different, unless you choose a boost, or here. isn't it? But boost would be after. Yeah, and then it makes it louder, not yeah, more, not gainy, more gainy, which is the problem. I can't use the preamp section, um, can I? Well, preamp section would be you could, but let me just think now. You need to. Amp. That's an amp, isn't it? Yeah, you, 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 you probably could find an amp sound, a driven amp sound that worked a bit like a pedal into an amp, but it's not. It's not what you really ideal. Want. Um, then, of course, Ooh. I've got one modulation effect, whereas Pete's got probably got 20. So, but here's my... <laughs> yeah. I really like that. It's one of my uh, for most That's a good chorus, uh, right? favorite affordable uh, chorus yeah. pedals there is out there. That and the Angel Wing. The Angel Wing, I think, had a slightly more thumpy, bigger tone to it, but yeah. as a stock oh. kind of nice... Yeah, it's wonderful subtle chorus. That's really good, isn't it's it? It's wonderful. So I, what have I got there? So I've got uh, I've got a tremolo panner, which is up. Oh, so you've gone tremolo here. rather than chorus. Have you? Yeah. So this is my EQ section, which <sighs> I can also get. And then what you don't have. Is that I don't I've have that. got reverb, reverb, We've reverb, verb I can... Jealous! Jealous guy! Uh, what's your chorus then? Uh, my chorus would be the same. So Why aren't you because, using modulation because, then? Because I would... Oh, want, you've done uh, a different thing, yeah, have you? Yeah, so, because I don't use... You use chorus. I like tremolo more. Right. Okay. Uh, so instead of my mod in my modulation, I use the overtone thing. So what does that I mean, do? That does. So, but when you put overdrive. <laughs> Could, of course, just now, go course. again, I could, if I had to buy like a <laughs> nano pog or something to do that, I'd be yeah. in for like, I'd probably no, double my blooming budget, yeah, wouldn't yeah, I? Yeah, Boom. But again, that's, uh, you know, I can pick, that was one thing, and then I have to go back in. Yeah. I, I, maybe I like I like the chorus here, man. It sounds, you do it's now? a proper bus, bus chorus. <laughs> Anyway, do you know what I do? I, I haven't even mentioned this at all. Think of all the money that people spend on isolated power supplies and stuff like that. I mean, it's not noisy or anything, is no. it? Every single pedal on. Not really that noisy. No. Anyway, so my most expensive pedal was my Bucket Brigade uh, Delay, yep. which has two modes as a non-modulated mode. So... That 
that means there's no modulation on the on the repeats. If I go into modulation mode, you'll just hear a little bit of uh, like a wavy sound on the on the Wait, repeats. Sounds nice, though. So it? yeah, I, do you know what I love modulated echo? So I would probably. Mm. Uh, yeah, I would probably use that on if I was doing clean stuff. What have I got uh, here? Not so much if I was using driven. How's your delay? So I've got a little bit of tape. That sounds. I think it sounds better too. Uh, it's, it's, it's modulated. It's more clinical, I think, sounding. This yeah, sounds warmer, more, doesn't it? Because that is, Bucket Brigade is analog, right? And this is digital, so that's where you get the, you know, I can set my analog settings, but it's an analog delay setting. A, a, a digital recreation of an analog delay. Yeah. What I have got, which you don't have, is if I hold that down. Oh, can you go I into get... tap mode? No, I can't do that. I mean, there are other pedals I could have pulled. And you have wah, wah pedal. volume pedals, you have yeah. guitar em emulations, you could go DI yeah. to the desk, which but I can't I prefer do. prefer that. <laughs> it, interestingly, it's so funny, uh, isn't it? if you like, uh, there are pedals that I could buy to put at the end of this that would give me all of those guitar amp uh, mod, uh, emulation things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's one, I don't know when this video is coming out, but there's one potentially by a very well-known brand that may or may not be on this table that's going to do that uh, at a hyper affordable yeah. price. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Um, I do like this, man. This is the first time, because uh, you and John did the video on this, and this is the first time I plug into it. I do really like it. I think it's really, really uh, good. I think the drive sounds, everything about it is great. Can you pass me the GP200, please, Taylor? This is, this is actually a good way of sort of explaining where ME90 comes in. N with the exception of ME90, your choice as a guitar player is typically either a unit that looks a bit like this mm -hmm. with a million effects in it and a nice display and you kind of you go in through scrolling through your different things and programming yeah. out your sounds and stuff and again this is the same kind of dough as one of these and uh you know may even have even more stuff in it it's like yeah. crazy stuff. and you wouldn't need an amp for that you know you, yeah you, or you do what I've done, which is pedals and of course the what people often like about pedals is there's no menus you're just adjusting you know knobs and turning the pedals on you want and where the me 90 is popular is it's 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 a fairly unique almost hybrid of the two isn't yeah. it oh uh, well look i mean pete and i will jam out we've yeah. spent about the same kind of dough so there's no sense that one um has spent more than the other clearly pete wins the quantity argument there's way more if you go down this route than this one yeah but maybe you like the simplicity of this. I, you I've can got, add and take well, away and the new say, That's the whole thing about you know, this, isn't if it? If next week um, Behringer or whoever bring out like the, the version two of this, or just yeah. I want to change my flavor of overdrive Over, pedal yeah. or whatever. Yeah. It's just out comes one, eBay, whatever, Gumtree, new one goes Gum in. Tree. Yeah, I don't Ooh. know where that came from. Uh, I know where age. that comes from. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this feels a bit like that's what that's everything what you're going to use until you decide to change the whole thing until the me 100 comes out and then i have to sell yeah. that and because you know i mean it happen at some point me 90 stays around as long as the me 80 did we'll be dead before the me 100 comes out fingers crossed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right so before we go please can i just try to add this preamp in and see if it works like another overdrive pedal so i've got mm. you know one otherwise i only have one it's not fair one would assume that in the oh, chain wait. the preamp is after the overdrive pedal wouldn't you so you ought to be able to get like a crunchy, yeah so it'll be here it'll be here right something like that but, yeah. so, so that's here's my overdrive so now i'm going to put the amp in or the yeah, preamp yeah but without the uh, di on it so Yes, I mean, there's, there's lots here. Mm. For me, it's much better. I mean, it... Yeah. 
Yeah, that doesn't sound Oof. great. So maybe you wouldn't use that. <laughs> but I just wanted to check it, man. No, know? I think it works. So maybe with enough tweaking, you might be able to yeah. get it. But it doesn't naturally feel At like time, it wants I haven't got, too much. In I haven't there. got time. To so tweak that's me. it. The most important thing, of course, is where do you want to go? There isn't really a ultimately a right or a wrong no, here. There is not. Um, you know, if you just want as many effects as possible for your money, clearly this is the way to go or this type of product. Yeah. But yeah, if, if you just like the simplicity, I love the fact that again, within 300 quid, we've bought a board, it comes with the Velcro, I've got my yeah, little, bag, it feels, you know, like quite like a problem system, affordable pro, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. sort of. anyway. When are you a pro, Lee? Huh? When are you a pro? I'm not if a pro. If you've played for 30 years or for four years? Yeah, I think if gigs. you're getting paid, then you're a pro. Is that what it is? That's the definition, isn't it? If you're getting paid, so, you're a pro. Uh, Okay, we'll, maybe we'll take that on the podcast at some point. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching. Yes, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. <laughs>